with those fans who are proud to align themselves with the Chiefs. Hello, Lindsay. Hey, Mark, and this is kind of where they've made their home in Denver. This dive bar, this pool hall is also a cheap fan haven. On Sunday morning, they told me that they have this potluck family gathering for about 100 Chiefs fans because otherwise, Denver can be a pretty dangerous place to be for the Chiefs fans. Ah, uh, set against the Rocky Mountains, nature meets the city in Denver. But if you're a Chiefs fan... I go in the most hostile bars where I don't care. You better know where you're welcome. We come here every Sunday. This Denver dive bar, managed by a KC native, went full-on Chiefs bar last year. Now a new generation of KC transplants is keeping the Broncos' Chiefs rivalry fresh with their new Denver friends. We try to get along. Well, I don't admit it in public, and so during this interview, I want you to blow my face if you can. You know, I don't ever look back, and I don't ever want to Broncos fans. Denver is and always will be better than Kansas City. This guy may be from Texas, but going to high school with Priest Holmes would make anybody a Chiefs fan. He wants Manning on his A game so the Chiefs win fair and square someday. They have a war chest of excuses and they just come out just one at a time, over and over. And so we definitely don't want to give them any. And these fans aren't flinching about a Chiefs victory. I, don't know. I think we're going to take it. I think we're going to take it down here and back at home. Go Chiefs! You can see the Chiefs fans and Broncos fans mingle about as well as pool sharks and pool minnows like me. But it's a lot of fun. We'll be here live from uh, Don Club Tavern all night for live. We'll be Shively 41 Action News. It does look like fun. All right, Lindsay, thanks. So I'll